and these scary movies and scary games. You guys are sickening. You guys need to get your heads right. Ew. What's up guys, Retro Obsessed here, and today I got some scary deals that I've gotten over the past month for this Halloween season that'll make you cringe. So sit back, relax, grab yourself a drink, grab yourself some candy corn, let's go. What's going on YouTube? Iowa Retro Gamer Dad here. One bottle of hot sauce here, and you're watching Retro Obsessed. Woo! Yeah, I, I don't know, man. I I, th I think they are, but I guess we'll have to see, so. Huh? No, no, it ain't rolling. I don't think it's ro Yeah, it's rolling. Um. What's up, guys? Retro Obsessed. It's an obsession. Hope you guys are doing well out there. Happy, happy Halloween, y'all. It has been a great month of pickups for me. I got a ton of stuff and I got a little bit of everything. I got some Funkos, I got some VHS, some DVDs, video games, laser discs, some tapestry, and yes, arguably the best candy ever made, some candy corn. Now, the real Halloween question is candy corn, yay or nay? You tell me in the comments below. Best candy ever made, Hands down. First and foremost, my name is Tom, AKA Retro Obsessed. It's an obsession. If you are new to the channel, this channel is devoted to anything, 80s, 90s, some early 2000s, retro nostalgia stuff that we grew up on, whether it's video games, toys, movies, music, and we talk about all that stuff on this channel. Now I do show you that in today's day and age that it is still possible to collect all this stuff out in the wild without having to spend a fortune in the stores. You know, I find pretty much 90% of my stuff either in the wild, thrift stores, yard sales, Salvation Armies, brick and mortar, mom and pop stores, stuff like that. I find a lot of my older stuff, a lot of my vinyl records, uh, laser discs and CDs, cassette tapes at estate sales actually. I find a lot of my good stuff at estate sales honestly. So be on the lookout guys. Estate sales are where it's at for all this older stuff. I'm back to uh, reselling full time. I was, I'd always done, I've, I've been reselling for at least five plus years, but I am back to doing it full time. That's where I'm, I'm able to go out all day long trying to find stuff. And I happen to come across a lot of stuff that I can flip for a profit. Also stuff that I can also go ahead and keep and fill up these four big old huge bookshelves behind me that you see here. And that's how I do it. I go out there uh, trying to find stuff that I can flip. And at the same time I flip some stuff and then I can turn around and use that money to buy some stuff that I'm looking for. What? Um, I have been doing a lot of whatnot auctions, both seller and buyer. Uh, I go to a lot of um, newer whatnots that don't have a lot of people. I turn around and buy a lot of stuff off of them and stuff that I know I can easily flip for some easy money or I can just fill up my shelves and it's a win-win situation for everyone. So I'm also selling on whatnot. I was doing it about a once a week, but I've lowered it down a little bit because I've kind of um, have a little bit less inventory right now. So I've been slowing down my whatnot sales, but they have been going really, really good. So if you are in whatnot, I will leave a link down below um, where you can sign up and get yourself a free 10 bucks on me. So free here, free, 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 free. Free. About three weeks ago, I was on someone's whatnot auction that was just strictly Halloween. 
It was uh, movies, video games, everything that was like uh, uh, Halloween related or scary movie related, horror, thriller, stuff like that. And I was able to get a bunch of stuff for it. And I uh, had enough to where I can make a video. I also got some other stuff too that I'm gonna throw in as well that I've gotten over this past month, month and a half. First and foremost, I wanna give a big shout out to my boy, Kyler. You can see him right here. Um, he's now a D-line for his uh, high school football team, which is now seven and one. Go Frontier Titans. It's been, a, it's been a heck of a ride for him and his team. Uh, Varsity's undefeated. They're most likely going to be going to state. Uh, J, uh, his team, they're in JV. They're seven and one right now, doing amazing. He got bumped up to D line. He's doing awesome. Either way, beside the point, we actually had a yard sale about three weeks ago to get rid of a lot of my old stale inventory. This wasn't selling. So what is it? What I did is I had a big, huge sale, a uh, yard sale, probably 500 items that was out of my eBay store. And then my kids had stuff, of course. And it was a whole two day event. Made a good amount of money off of the yard sale. My son wanted to sell this for five bucks. So I ended up giving him $10 for it because it was well worth it and it was video game related and it's awesome. And that is pause for effect. The Master Chief um, Extra Large Funko Pop. I'll show you right there. This is the Pop Halo uh, Master Chief. Really awesome. This is probably about uh, 12, 14 inches tall. Really, really cool. I couldn't let this sell in the yard sale for five bucks so i gave him ten dollars for it it is the gamestop exclusive he bought it and just didn't really display it and he said he wanted to sell it so i gave him ten bucks for it awesome piece for the gaming collection and for the pop collection too i got a nice little pop collection over there not a lot but some you know video game and movie stuff related and yeah th i thought this was really cool so kyder thank you very much for this i really appreciate it and it's going to go right into my collection up next is this Halloween tapestry I actually got from Timu. You saw this on Timu, but since it was Halloween related, I wanted to show it off. And this was the, I think it was 14 inches by 30 inches uh, tapestry of like the Halloween uh, movies. I'll show you a quick glimpse right there. Like I said, if you saw my uh, Timu movie, you already saw that. Um, I just thought it was really cool. And since it was Halloween related, I wanted to show it off for my Halloween video. I just thought that was really cool. I think I picked it up for like a dollar on Timu, so pretty cool there. Anybody, and I say anybody that knows me knows I am a massive Fast and Furious fan. And I've been hunting for this for the last three or four months now, and I finally found it. And that is the five pack Fast and Furious Hot Wheels that has the, uh, the Dodge Charger, the Toyota Supra, 67 Mustang Fastback, uh, 70 Chevelle Super Sport, and the Austin Martin 1963 D85 five pack set. I've been looking for this probably for, like I said, at least a good two months, and I have yet to find it. I finally found it. I actually found it at Target, believe it or not. Um, a lot of people said that they weren't, they weren't at Target, but I found it. Up next is some Halloween slash scary movies that I've gotten. I got some DVDs, VHS, and even a laser disc. Yeah, buddy. That was about all I could handle on that mask, man. Them things get hot. Yeah, no mess for me. Anyway, I got some good Halloween scary thriller uh, action-packed movies. First, the VHS. We picked up The Exorcist. This is in a clamshell. The original Exorcist. Awesome there. Great movie. Next up, we got uh, Mel Gibson in The Signs. And we got Boogeyman, great movie. Not exactly my favorite of the series, but definitely a good one. And that is Friday the 13th, part eight, Jason Takes Manhattan. Great movie. Best part about this, Blockbuster sticker, baby. You got the Blockbuster sticker right there, Blockbuster on the bottom. Please remember to rewind. Uh, you know, it's hard enough finding VHS movies, uh, some good horror ones, and then you got the blockbuster sticker on top of it. It makes it an awesome, awesome uh, piece to the collection for, for sure. Not one of my favorites, but definitely a good one. And the next up is some DVDs. We have 30 Days of Night, a pretty good vampire movie, actually. We have, I've never heard of this one, but I mentioned it. It was brand new sealed, but this is called All the Creatures Were Stirring. Uh, never heard of it. I mean, just from the cover alone, you can tell it's gonna be a pretty crazy, scary movie. Never seen it. Oh, come all ye evil. <laughs> pretty crazy there. Um, another reason to dread this season. That's what it says. If you have seen this movie before, let me know. 
uh, how it is, if it's dumb. I'm still gonna take a look at it. Uh, it is brand new sealed. I thought that was pretty cool. I got that at Goodwill though. We have the original Purge on Blu-ray. And this was pretty cool. I didn't even know he made movies, but this is called uh, See No Evil with Kane, the wrestler, the WWE superstar Kane. That was AKA uh, Undertaker's brother uh, in the in the uh, the wrestling series. I didn't even know he, he, he made a movie, but yeah, See No Evil, and apparently he made a second part to this, so I'm gonna have to look for it now. And then we got 28 Days Later, great movie. And then we have The Seed of Chucky. Any Chucky movie is pretty damn good to me, on honestly. And last one up, never heard of this one, found it at Goodwill, Decoys. I have never heard of it before, uh, but it's called They Can Seduce Anyone, Pray It Isn't You. Never heard of this one before. If you happen to come across any of these movies that isn't very familiar, let me know. Uh, those were the DVDs I got though. And the one laser disc I found, now, I didn't find this one in the wild, but I did find it on Whatnot. It was a laser disc sale. It's not a scary movie, it's not a Halloween movie, but it's a great movie. And that is Boys in the Hood. Now, if you are not familiar with laser disc, this basically came after VHS, but before DVD. The Pioneer Combination CD laser disc player. With a 60% sharper picture than most VCRs. And the incredible clarity of CD sound. It makes movies, music, and concerts truly come to life. This is a 12 inch, basically a 12 inch version of a DVD. Now I do have a Laserdisc player hooked up to my 40 inch uh, CRT TV. The picture on the CRT TV with the nice Laserdisc player and a good audio setup is amazing. It's a, it's about as good as a DVD. Like I said, it's it's a basically a 12 inch version of a, of a uh, DVD. As you can see there, it's nice and shiny. It's two sided, but it's, it is the size of a vinyl record, um, but it's called a Laserdisc. So uh, if you never heard of them before, now you know. Basically it came, it came after VHS, but before DVD, it was short lived because they took up a lot of space and everything. But like I said, if you, uh, I started collecting them just because they're, they're hard to find. I like trying to collect that harder to find stuff myself, Laserdisc included. Um, but yeah, Boys in the Hood, great, great movie there. So, um, yeah, Tom had to go to the bathroom. Uh, I'm his sister, Thomasina. Um, he told me to go ahead and show you guys uh, one or two of his uh, video games that he picked up, but I don't really know what I'm doing, so just bear with me, guys, okay? So, um, it looks like he got a game for the Super Nintendo, I think it is called, and that is... Um, the lawnmower man ew that looks freaking disgusting i don't know what it is up with you 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 men excuse me it's ma'am it is ma'am and these scary movies and scary games you guys are sickening you guys need to get your heads right ew and another game he got was um castle castlevania Castlevania. I don't even know how to pronounce it. That's how stupid this game probably is. Um, yeah, I don't. I don't even pronounce it. But like I said, he got these two movies. Um, I think he said he got them on a what not auction. He probably pay, paid way too much money for this crap. This stuff is stupid. I don't even understand why he plays it or, or collects it or hoards it because he's a hoarder. So, anyway, those are the two um, cartridge-based games that he said he got. So. Anyway, on to the, what? I'm doing it right now. What do you think? Can you give me a break, all right? I don't even wanna do this stupid thing. Are you done? All right, did you light a candle? Because last time it was freaking gross, all right? Okay, good. All right, guys, I am Thomasina, and my brother's back, so he's gonna show you this stupid games that he got. Bye. Bye, Felicia. Yeah, I'm back, you can go now. Thanks a lot for ruining my video. I'm not gonna get any viewers now. I don't get any viewers as it is, and you probably just made it worse, so you can go ahead and go now, all right? Hey, Sensuous. Since you was up, get me a beer, all right? 
All right, guys, I'm back. Sorry I had to go to the restroom. Hopefully my sister didn't scare you off too bad. Anyway, um, I think she was showing you a couple of games that I got. I got the Lawnmower Man and uh, Castlevania. Got these on a one-out auction. I ended up picking them up for five bucks a piece. It was a pretty good deal. I think Castlevania is probably about a $15 to $20 game. I don't know, I haven't seen it recently. And Lawnmower Man, I have no idea. I haven't even checked it. Um, but apparently, Curtis, if you want your game back, tough, it's mine now. Anyway, got those two uh, cartridge-based games. Thought they were pretty cool. Five bucks a piece on whatnot. Pretty good deal there. All right, we actually have a pretty nice stack of games that I got. A couple Halloween games, a couple not Halloween games, a couple scary games, and a couple a couple games I've never even heard of before. First up for the PS2, we got Resident Evil X Code Veronica, or Code Veronica X, I'm not sure exactly which way it goes. Resident Evil Code Veronica X. Now this is a disc only game, but the cover is actually like printed. Um, I think I picked it up for like $2 on a whatnot auction. Pretty good deal there. And then this one is also a, a disc only. And that is Manhunt 2 for the Nintendo Wii. I don't ever remember playing this game before. It looked pretty damn scary from the cover and from the back. Looks like definitely like a hack 'em slash 'em style game. Never played it before. It is made by Rockstar, so hopefully it'll be pretty good. Uh, next up on the Wii, uh, Resident Evil 4, the Nintendo Wii edition. Pretty cool. I don't actually remember ever playing this one, so I'm gonna have to uh, give it a roll. Resident Evil games are always really fun though. And last up for the Wii, this is called Cursed Mountain. Don't remember ever playing this game either, um, but it's definitely got some monsters and some slashing going on in the back there. So looks like a pretty fun game. I'm gonna have to slap it in the Wii in the living room and try it out. You never know, it looks like a pretty good game. And then for the Xbox 360, uh, we have the Game of the Year Edition, The Walking Dead. And then we have Vampire Reign for the Xbox 360. I just never heard of any of these games before. Um, like I said, I, I picked up a lot of them just because they were like in a, they were in a Halloween uh, whatnot auction and they had like a little bit of anything and everything. I thought it was really cool. And the next up we got, I uh, found these two at Goodwill for, I think I paid two ninety nine, both CIB. And that is for the original Xbox and this was American Chopper. And then we have High Rollers Casino for the original Xbox. All right, we are down to the nitty gritty. I got two games left, but... but um <laughs> these I, I found at Goodwill. Um, I found one in the DV section and one in the CD section. And they're both games for the Windows 98 computer, which is awesome because uh, you guys know, I'll, I'll show a little picture here if I have one. Um, I have a fully working, slightly upgraded Windows 98 computer. Unfortunately, the disk drive did die. Um, I had an Instagram uh, friend send me one, but he didn't know if it was worked and it ended up not working, the disc tray didn't open. So if anyone happens to have a whitish, yellowish, old disc drive that would be off like a Windows 98, 2000 era computer, um, let me know, I'd like to buy it from you. I am, I, I am without a disc drive right now for my Windows 98 computer, so I can't play or install these games, but I did find two games, and believe it or not, they are both uh, scary games. Um, one is Doom 3, I'll show you right there. Doom 3, it is the nice double pack. Probably has like, I think it has three discs in it, if I remember right, three or four discs. But this is complete, which is really cool. It has the your inside manual, all the discs and everything. And I picked it up for a CD, uh, CD price. So I got Doom 3 for 99 cents, good deal there. And the last game up for the Windows 98, I've never played it before but it looks really, really good. It looks like a, a haunted horror, exploring, finding stuff. I really don't know, but that game is called Scratches. I have never heard of this game before. If you have heard of this, let me know. I mean, if I can find some, because I know it is kind of older. Uh, it is one, I don't think it's considered a big box, but it is just like a regular game. It looks like it was made in 2002, so definitely a Windows 98 era. If you have played this before, let me know how it is. Uh, it, like I said, it is it is complete. Complete. It does have the CD, has the game, uh, has the the manual, everything on it. So I thought that was pretty cool. And this was in the DVD section, so I got this for a dollar ninety nine. Um, I definitely can't wait to try it. Like I said, I am still waiting. I'm trying to find a uh, you know a whitish, yellowish old uh, disc drive that I can that would come out of like Windows 98, 95, 2000 era. If you happen to have one, let me know. I would like to buy it from you. People on eBay 
stupid eBay sellers, you know. Um, they want too much money for them. Uh, I, I, I haven't been able to find one under like $40. I found one that was $24.99, uh, but it was black, and I'm just not wanting a black one. I'm wanting the white, yellowish, grandma's yellow smoked out computer. That's what I have, and that's what I enjoy. It has a couple upgraded internals, but I want to find a disk drive that's working. That way I can install and try out these games. Like I said, scratches, Windows 98. If you have played this before, let me know because it looks really, really fun and I can't wait to try it. Well guys, that is it. Done. Finished. That is my Halloween pickups for 2023. Hope you guys enjoyed. So let me know what your favorite pickup was from this video. I would greatly appreciate it. And I hope everyone has a happy and safe Halloween. If you're gonna go out drinking, call yourself an Uber, call yourself a friend, just stay the night there, crash on the couch. It doesn't, it's, it's just not, it's not worth it guys. Don't be stupid, that's all I'm gonna say, don't be stupid. And if you're gonna go trick or treating with your kids, have fun, enjoy. Until next time, I am Retro Obsessed. It's an obsession, peace. I'm